Hello everybody, it's me. So yeah, last time um, we said goodbye to Juan Garcia Cortez since he had one less issue with the French and I was his personal bodyguard basically. Saving his ass on that yacht he owned and now and after that I was trying to complete every assassination missions but it didn't work out and I didn't do any research of it. I just finished the video and started a new one right now and I just hope that in this video I have more luck and less awkward moments where I'm not even sure what I'm doing right or wrong especially that I failed one mission three or four times and I died a lot of most of the times well things here a bit intense and I know that Evie Carrington is responsible for this okay uh, let the fun begin I guess a spantoso in the background you the boy Oh, yeah. yeah, you were calling me. I think so, you you thought that I was Leo. No, I don't think I do. Huh? Oh yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? What? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, okay. He called you dumb, son. Uh -huh. And I call him a little girl, puppy. Look at him. All dressed up like that. Mm -hmm. What is this? Ladies' night? You some kind of yeah, guy. what a kind like person. A I mean, you got on panties like a woman. Too, <laughs> what? Huh? what do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I yeah. Like women. <laughs> I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. Sure, right, relax. Right, take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah, like a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. <laughs> and not some little very chiquita one. Okay, Danny Treo. If that's what you ask for. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. I'm always struggling with the boat controls. I had problems in 3, maybe in San Andreas as well, but Vice City won't be different. I just say that um, all these speedboats has better controls, or not the controls, but faster speed compared to my city stories. I know that game takes place in it takes place two years earlier but uh, the engines these speedboats had was really miserable compared to the ones from Vice City and I don't know why they were so damn slow. Some kind of code issue I guess because um, Vice City and River City story is technically the same game because they both functions more like a modified version of Vice City and I can't take the blame if th if I say that um, since River City stories take place way later compared to Vice City stories in time. I just don't understand why in the 2006 title the speedboards are way slower and I doubt it's because the game takes place in 1984. Alright, as long as I see this mission doesn't go as terrible as I expected, I know I have to do another um, speedboat mission in Vice City Docks. But it doesn't mean that I'm happy to doing this one as well. I mean, I was never a fan of picking checkpoints up in races, maybe because I play too much Need for Speed. But even the checkpoint races from from Carbon and Most Wanted was kind of fair because you didn't actually have to hit certain 
objects to achieve it, just get through it, even if you miss it. It was about reaching them at the right time, before the time runs out. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. And maybe the reason why I can't concentrate too much on speaking and playing the game, but rather playing the game, is just the fact that I'm pretty much tired and unaware of certain actions I'm doing. And the funny thing is that um, Rico, that was his name, he stopped there. He doesn't want to drive that thing anymore. The AI just turned him off. Come on, move! Move, brother! Do your thing! Oh, rest in peace. I hope that my boss, Danny Trejo, won't know about this. Or Robina. Jeez, I forget. The, I'm, I'm forgetting names. I also played Redneck Rampage 1 and 2 recently. And I had the feeling that I should complete those games as well, despite their big issues like getting lost on the map and cannot find the keys. These are pretty regular issues with that title. I know it's a build engine game and pretty arcade and goofy, but at the same time it's buggy and just uncomfortable. Really, it's super easy to get lost in the game, especially how repetitive it can be if this with the NPCs. Yes, I walked out of water, that's what I tried to do in the last video, but it didn't work out pretty great. And we have the Voodoo Master, or Mastress. Um, she's basically the leader of the Haitian gang, and as you can see on the her icon on the radar, yes. Uh, it's a it's a voodoo doll, so of course she wants to hang out with us, but not because Tommy agree with her, because he is under control. Why? Because of adding some mystery behind this leader. I mean, I know it's all about joke um, that the Haitian population has this voodoo uh, myth and this game just using it and I think it's fun it's a great detail we don't need too much conspiracy videos of each character it's just some kind of cliche that actually happened in media as well and the reason why I bought this um, taxi company Kaufman taxi, I guess, so I can have a place to save the game. You don't look Mexican, what? Well, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh crap, Sonny. She know the cliches. I love it. It's actually one of my favorite cutscenes of this game. Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. <laughs> Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Our... Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. All right. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. <laughs> Alright. After I complete um, the Luffy's missions, I think I start the company's one and maybe I start with this one because it um, the taxi company has some f has pretty funny missions, I think. Or just feels a bit relieving. But maybe the first um, asset mission that I should complete is either something awful like... Oh, the roof of this stallion is back. Alright, come on. 
great. Now you look better. Or either um, do the other mission. So do something bad or boring, like the import export at Sunshine Autos, um, the ice cream mission distribution, the street club one, or something better like the Malibu club ones. But maybe for another time, I need to take care of these Haitians and Cubans first, and then the rock band. Come on! I'm wasting too much time, that's the problem. Wow. Juju Scramble! Wow. Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now we all dead from yeah, the on the PC time, version, she is wearing yellow cl yellow <laughs> clothes. Message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now you do all and to pull your turn, and maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the llama and the stink eye. Hmm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, th I, th I think I got the wrong address. Where these things come. The Cubans nasty proud foo foos. Mm. I did a certain tea or stop at his drinking just manipulating his mind even more. Powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy Tommy and go and get the powders for Auntie Pule. The powders? Yeah, 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 the sure, white dust, sure. you mean? Magic dust? <laughs> oh, man. And I'm sure she can send out any friends of hers or gang members because it's a very dangerous mission and she doesn't want to lose any more men who's already dying, basically, this part of the city. Or rather in Little Havana. Come on, let's go, Tommy. Despite you're not in control, I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, you've been controlled, but not by yourself. But this leader. What are you guys doing? <laughs> the traffic is pretty wacky here. They were encoded normally. But yeah, they're capable to go back. Finding the right path. And I'm going to shoot this stuff up. The moon. Come on! Cool! Oh no! They are looking after me! No! Come on! If I might want to say CJ when he is not. Maybe because I'm his San Andreas. Sniper on the roof! And come on! Thanks. What the hell are you doing, Tommy? Jeez, am I forgetting a lot of things again? No! No, please! Ugh. I hope the game respawned this voodoo right here. Yes, thanks. I love Stallion, but it's a bit slower. I could spin out pretty pretty easily. No Oh god. I know that there's a stupid truck that nobody cares. I know that if I pick up the next um, cocaine luggage or briefcase then some cops appears with shotguns Oh god. And I'm going to get on the ground. Hurry. Find the way out of here. And I'm about to sneeze and I really hate this. Oh god. Just be strong, Martin. You're almost there. Yes. Good. Ugh. Now I wonder if... Um, Alright. I thought... I killed the game because 
I mean, is to walk back here, but I guess not. It's all just time based when the game tells you that the job is done. Bombs away! Oh no! I hear gunshots! Oh, sorry, I'm, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. All right, you have the package. Place what now? Familiar to me, uh, a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Yeah, now sure, whatever. You've been here just <laughs> in the last well. mission, whatever. You look like someone I, I. The Cubans have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. My nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. <laughs> He's really struggling. I bet she's happy that she can control one of the biggest drug dealers in this city. Just with a simple tea and her voodoo dolls, I think, outside. While Tom is outside. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Um, Tommy has given the order to destroy some speedboats. Because Cubans using these boats to um, spread their product merchandise. So yeah, we got to destroy them and yeah, it, there was some kind of subtitle and I didn't read it because I don't care. I just love to pretend that I'm actually good at something. That's what my whole channel is built up to. Come on. Some people say it's a terrible mission because of the wacky plane controls. I think it's a bit better than in San, and, than in San Andreas. Especially if your um, plane gets blown up, it doesn't instantly mean that the mission is failed or anything like that. Good. Come on, you almost there. Almost there. Cool! Now I just need to fly back and deal with this um, driver, I guess. Alright! Oh no, he's already entered the stuff! I got to chase him down! Take that! Oh no! Oh, he's on the flame, isn't it? Good! Ah! And you can't drive this vehicle away, this van. And I don't know why, I know that in the Japanese version you can actually take it. But really that's it. Also in the Japanese version, some of the gang members have been reskinned for some reason. Okay, last mission. Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now! One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys got <laughs> Look at his Cuban face. Boys, but no guns. Mm, but the Cubans have a surprise coming. While they fight in the streets. It's better keep to stand in the and kill them in the hubbub. No one sees you. Stand stable. No hear you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me and you no longer tie to my apron string. Okay, Auntie. <laughs> okay, Henty. Okay, so she knows that this is her last mission, and I'm not going to use this sniper rifle. It will just make things more harder. I mean, there's a mission where I need, where I meet Phil, Phil Cassidy, and with him I can actually do stuff. So basically, um, I'm meeting him at the shooting range in ammunition and there will be a side mission where I need to do nothing but reach 45 points I guess. And if I do that, Tommy unlocks the quick reload ability, which is good because then I could use the bolt action sniper rifle. And 
basically, Tommy shouldn't, or he doesn't need to um, use the ball to put e every each ammo in the chamber of the gun. You know what I mean. So it will make the rate of fire a bit faster for that gun. But since I don't have this ability, I stick with my SMGs. Yeah, I know our job is done and it won't r have this situation against the Cubans, but it was a good try. See you later, Haitian grandma. Trying to go back and meeting with Umberto Robina. But first I save my game in this um, ice cream factory. Um, Mr. Hoopy, I guess, or Dr. Hoopy. Or it's just the car's name, but not the whole company's. Cherry Top? Oh, Cherry Popper, whatever. Also, it's funny thing about these guys, uh, the Cubans, that for a very few, except a very few rampages, most of the times Tommy needs to kill all these Cuban members, and I don't know why. Maybe because most of the areas where these rampages are happening or located don't have any natural or local gangs and that's why they, the game spawns Cubans. Because if we shooting a gun around um, at the mall, obviously the shark gang arrives. But at the same time, if we do a stuff rampage on the airport, the Aziz men arise despite there isn't any gang there. So it's somehow coded. You drive good for a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Take my boys over there, and then we'll take these Haitians down. Will they mess with me? They mess with the biggest boy in town. Oh no. Looks like somebody made Umberto Robino a bit angry, so I need to bring some backup and attack the Haitians base. Come on! This car always spawns here, or pony, for this mission. Come on, let's go! I mean, entering to this place isn't as hard, but what I'm afraid is the getaway. I use a similar vehicle, probably another pony, while I'm leaving an area filled with gunshots, so my tires might be popped out. And I get chased by the police as well. This mission is actually harder than the last Haitian, last um, Cuba mission. This also feels a bit longer. Okay. Cool. Sniper on the roof. They fight like girls. Take cover. We need reinforcements from the cafe. Sometimes a ambulance spawns, and if we block the, we block basically the way here. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a sniper rifle, but I don't think I want to use that now. Pick it up. Huge 
Pick it up. Thanks. Okay, I go out there. Because while these guys keep spawning, as long as time exists, I'm trying to get away. Oh god, really? Good, good. Now I just need to face the cops and... Yeah, this get away actually for pretty well, maybe because I expected these NPCs to spawn. Okay, that was good. And I can enter this car because then I will betray Robina. Alberto, uno cafe, Papa, senor. Don't turn this negative off. You're two faced, Tommy. You're either two faced or you're a whip, baby boy. The Haitians, man, they're laughing at me. Easy, Again? Easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me. Tommy, at me. Umberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Umberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. That's I right. Brothers and all, but this is business. Mm -hmm. Tommy, you are a real man. Businessman, a gentleman. These Haitians, they have a load of product coming in offshore. Really mm -hmm. good stuff. We take it and we finish them. Offshore, you mean you from... And I look after you. Like my brother. From Haiti? Like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, <laughs> amigo. Okay, so there will be a drug trade and we just need to disturb it with our cynical appearance with Rico. Who I killed earlier, but looks like he's just as a player as I am, which means that he always responds in the hospital. Which I'm happy about it. Alright, I just need to meet him. But before that I need to pick up a a stuff, a body armor, which is actually pretty close. Hey, bro. Hey, Rico. Nice boat. You ready? See, Tommy. Now you be a good shot today. My boat be no good. Full of holes, okay? <laughs> Here they are. I don't know, shall I use a rocket launcher? Maybe it might help. Oh no, again? Really? Yeah, I forgot to mention that for some reason all these characters or NPCs from free, but more like in Vice City, they don't have any aiming or shooting animations for the sniper rifles, so okay if a full script that, that her head blown up. But the fact that the closest animation these guys have is having some kind of melee attack or just punching the air instead of just using the rifle properly is pretty odd. Especially that this this guy up there basically just standing like a beta punching um idle animation from GTA 3. I mean a lot of the moving animations from Claude are completely identical to the NPCs, their usual animations. Maybe because the player shared these um, movements as well, motions. Okay, let's do it normally, for Christ's sake. 
I don't know why my proving that doing things with the rocket, rocket launcher wouldn't lead me into that, that or this, any disaster. I'm just too damn curious, I guess. Okay, can I pick up the loot? Okay, two shotgunners from the side. Oh no! RIP Rico again. I just wanted to pick up the weapons, not the cash. Come on, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot you! Really? You got to be! Alright. Well, if you don't let me go through, then I just change my direction. Oh god, and I have this stupid Landstalker. I had this tradition or my own thing that in this mission I don't use vehicles. I'm just hoping that one will spawn and usually it doesn't happen except the cops and it's not like that at 4 level heat 4 star heat I wouldn't get cars but in this mission traffic vehicles are usually despawns or aren't allowed disabled But yeah, there were opportunities and times when I made this mission, completed this, this mission without um, driving any vehicle. Because I have lack of trust. I have a lack of trust to land stalker. I mean, this car is always flipped over, no matter how careful I'm trying to driving it. But for now, I think I pick up myself. I mean, I'm looking for some health and stuff. I always forget what to say, body armor, these two things are the most necessary things that every place player should have, at least in Vice City 3 and San Andreas. Okay, this is the last mission from this boss, I hope nothing goes wrong, I can complete it at the first attempt and I don't need to load any save after this because I'm pretty much tired of this game. I was planning to make four videos at once, but I think I stick with three. This hey, game hey, sucked all my energy from my, out of myself. Me out of me. And then, and then I'm going to make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. But I like that in the Defe Edition, these girls actually had some kind of facial animation with expressions and that was a cool detail. I wish there was more of it. Oh, look at the background. Those things are actually animated. I mean, I know that they were spinning, but... You go and get us a little Haitian car. But they were thinking get it, left and okay, right, and it's my boys. good, I guess. And take them out to the Haitian. Then you go around to the Haitian's processing plant, and you use their solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye bye. Yeah, see you around. What about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. What about he your father? I mean, he seems no? to be pretty much freezed. The last All right. thing I needed was this. Maybe the last thing I needed was an enema, but this comes close. Yeah, Pepe. Your brother Rico died. died. I hope you're sad. So I need to find a disguise car and just get in to the place, to that um, house. Rico, what? Alright, so Rico is still alive. I... I'm telling you, he always comes back. He's probably waiting near the drug factory of the Haitians. Yes, I can get out from this place. And now Pepe is going to commentary the road. 
Sure. I agree. I'm not. I see my friend. No, you. Sure, I will, but um, can I control the game again? Thanks. Alright, let's see this grand finale of this mission or um, chapter of the game. Come on, move, move. What takes so long? Go. Let's go, just head towards the place, no problem. What taking so long? Alright, it's time to raid. Let's go. I think there's one guy upstairs. Alright, one plant. Another two more to go. Hey. What a pretty face. And really that's it. Now I just need to find the getaway place. Or just hide out. Away from the problems. What this place brought to me. Which was basically nothing. Alright. And that's it. <laughs> he was just standing there. I mean, the only guys who actually died here were the ones that I shoot it down. This whole explosion were, was, was nothing compared to it. Only the building was destroyed, but not the people inside. It's actually comic relief. Like some kind of Looney Tunes episode or something. I don't know what you tried to say in Haitian, but I'm sure I got cursed by you. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm heading to downtown and hope that I can share my business with Kent Paul and have some knowledge with his business to know that he's not just some cheap guy that is easy to threaten and just force every rumor that he knows about but something else which could let him what he's going to be by the time of San Andreas. Yeah? Tommy, Umberto Rubina. Hey, how's the cafe? Oh, wonderful. It's incredible, Tommy. Incredible. No whip, Tommy. Just real men. And the beautiful women. Anyway, I wanted to tell you, me and Papi, to us, you're Cuban. You have proved yourself, man. You got big cojones. Well, thank you, Umberto. Nobody said that to me since I left jail. See you around. Okay, well I guess that was the fun part of this. Alright everybody, next time we'll do some missions for Kent Paul and I think I prepare myself to do bank heist by do some missions in Malibu Club and after this anything could happen basically but first the Malibu Club in terms of assets. So yeah, see you guys later.